Right, we're going to do some science right now. I want you to get into pairs, or threes will work. As long as you've got someone you can play, go ahead now. What we're going to do is play two games of rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to say one, two, three, show, and then again. Everybody ready? Found a partner? Ready? One, two, three, show. One, two, three, show. Now, now then, think for a moment. If you won the first game, did you stick with your item, or did you change it? What about if you lost or drew? What you did right then was a little bit of game theory in your head. Game theory is the science of decision making in a competitive situation. You observed how your actions in the first game shaped your success and then devised a strategy to be as successful as possible in future games. There's actually a secret trick to this game which you might figure out by the end. Now, about the same time as the math behind game theory was first being formalized, there were murmurs of an awkward problem in biology. Bio behavioral biologists couldn't figure out why animals were surprisingly gentlemanly or ladylike when competing over resources. Now, you might not initially think this is the case, especially if you've seen the bickering in my house over the last after eight at Christmas, but at least Uncle Frank gets to go home alive at the end of the argument. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> so sorry. And the reason was that human beings, like many animals, have evolved a sense of altruism or generosity. Rather than always taking everything for ourselves, sometimes we let someone else have that last chocolate, right? And maybe we do it thinking that one good turn deserves another, that you know, Uncle Frank will give us his last Yorkshire pudding in return later on. But whatever the reasons, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever the reasons, oh, nuts, I'm so sorry. My last piece was about long-term memory, would you believe it? <laughs> Whatever the reasons, this apparently unexpected behavior has triumphed because it takes into account the individ other individual's strategies as well as what we're planning. That's the real lesson, that the best strategies, as found in evolution, are the ones that take into account our competitors as well. And we can apply this lesson straight back to the rock, paper, scissors we played at the start. Research has shown us that normal, normal human beings <laughs> tend, in general, to stick with a winning item, to downgrade a losing item, and to upgrade an item that draws from one game to the next. But now that we know that, we can formulate our strategy to beat it. So, when you win, in the next game, play the item your opponent just played. When you lose, downgrade their item and play that. And when you draw, upgrade their item and use that in the next game. But whatever you do, keep it to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry.